This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And we are here for the very first night of Mayhem Mania. First of all, joining us from Beacon, New York, the Mayhemmer who definitely watches more wrestling than you on a mm-hmm. weekly basis, Mad Mike. Doesn't mean I enjoy more. Uh, <laughs> but that is I- true. <laughs> Ronnie, why is your new pre-show gimmick being Drew McIntyre? Don't ever do that. Oh, no. I, I had to, you know, get started out. Got to do man. something. Hey, and Ronnie Starks is here, and he's the only Mayhemmer with a trading card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. um, wait. Uh, Hold on. I what? have, like, 50 of them. Somebody please take them from me. That is not true. That's not true? I have a trading card of myself from when I played Little League Baseball. But, but, okay. I, Okay, within the last 10 years, <laughs> the only one with the trading. Let me have this, Mike. Do you have an action you have great figure, intros. Mike? No, I don't want to give Ronnie anything unique. <laughs> I, have a, I have a custom action figure a fan made me. Do you have Oh, I haven't seen that. I, I actually do have a custom action figure. <laughs> Fuck you, Oh, Mike. what the hell? Fuck you straight <laughs> to hell, Mike. My sister got it for me a couple of years ago. I can't win. Like, All right, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Do you have then. a good guy? Wait, 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 wait. The only guy with two... Trading cards, <laughs> Ronnie yeah. Starks. He does have two. We have another one here in the studio. I just don't have it handy. It's over on the shelf over there. And also back with us, our friend in the mainstream media, the proprietor of Mayhem Mania. The wheel is here, guys. Oh, I, I think you can hear that pretty good. The forbidden portal to space jail awaits. <laughs> <laughs> you are back from your uh, hibernation. That's all right. healed up. Yes, and and um, look um, how refreshed and I'm rested glad, I look. I'm glad the Patreons are able to uh, uh, help contribute to your uh, therapy bills. Um, in you the were going to reimburse me for that? Uh, well, we'll talk later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> we'll talk later. Uh, but anyways, Matt, mystery Matt is Tina's back. Tina says until one of us has a custom pop, she's not impressed. No, there's that too. Uh, okay. they're, they're releasing enough of them. How you doing, Matt? Not only am I back, I'm not going anywhere. What? I'm going to be back oh. next week. Oh, no. And the week hey. after that. And the week after that. This is my sentence. This is my personal space jail uh, for the next couple months or so. Because yeah, we're, yeah. we're kicking off Mayhem Mania tonight. Um, mm-hmm. We need to find eight people to make themselves some matches. So I think we're going to round some up. If you're some, within the sound some, of my voice. Some are driving. And some you are can literally, get to Beachview in time. Some literally are, have been in the chat room and are driving here right now. Slide yeah. into Sorg's yeah. Facebook Messenger. Yeah. yeah, yeah I can stand outside with a sign that says, make a match for Mayhem. Mania. I don't think we need to. <laughs> we already did no, that on we the don't internet. Need, this, like, this has become a thing. Yeah, this is... This is pretty. pretty Are you big. up on the lore, Ronnie? I am on up this? on the lore. No, yeah, no, you're it was not. here last year for it a couple oh, of times. Did, did you, yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, Ronnie, did you read? Did you read, did you read the article? preview? Did you read the article on the Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com website? Because he told when me when we the scienced article. Mayhem Mania to I, death. Yeah. I didn't read the article. I didn't. We were what? I didn't you get a chance to. Read it and you I know. Well, you're the one that needed history. I was here for it. Well, it's real nice. You got to go check it out. It's a nice article out. with graphs this and everything. This is year six of Mayhem Mania. So we have mm-hmm. five years of Mayhem Mania data to draw upon, and there are. This has not been a pointless exercise, Sorg. There are lessons to be learned, and uh, so there are some of those are if laid you out. Like data, thought experiments in professional bar wrestling, charts. If you like bar, bar charts, we if have you it love you. bar charts, this is like your I, porn. Okay, I it's think amazing. That I am so confused with what I want to do for Mayhem Mania because now there's so much information. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, it is statted to death. It is statted to Anyways, death. Anyways, it's awesome. This is your Wrestling Mayhem show. I'm uh, we, we, we do this every Tuesday night here. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form, or look us up on your favorite platform. You can also ask your Google Home or Amazon or whatever talkie device that plays podcasts to play the Wrestling Mayhem show for it. Uh, you can also add the uh, Sorgatron Media Master Feed or the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed to your morning routine so you'll get the latest in wrestling talk every morning while you're preparing yourself. 
that's a really good idea. Uh, and uh, you can also <laughs> dig. That's a, that's a really good idea I just came up with. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. um, and also you can email us at your email address. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS0 is the hotline. You can leave a message there, especially as you guys are going to have opinions about picks for Mayhem Mania. Tweet us at Mayhem Show and jo- follow the Facebook page and group so you know what's going on about uh, when we go live for this, uh, live for the Monday Mayhem Wrestling Wrap-Up, uh, where we usually get the Lego update from Mike, and uh, we talk about other wrestling things. So if you are if you don't like the, like, if we don't feel like we're getting deep, deep divey into, like, SmackDown or Raw, or anything that's kind of the show where that's happening right now so please join that and uh subscribe to that's also on the master feed as well uh for wrestling mayhem show and you can get all that stuff including indie mayhem show um we are here live every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern time where we're just gonna bullshit for a half an hour mm-hmm. <laughs> at least mm-hmm. so at least something's happening uh relatively at 9 p.m uh, and we'll get started hopefully before 10 p.m eastern <laughs> so and, and of course we're streaming a lot of other platforms including the mayhem show uh uh Twitter Periscope, the Indie Wrestling uh, Twitch page, and all the Sorgatron media properties as well out there. But if you want to be part of the conversation, if you're seeing us live, please go over to the Facebook page because that is where we are uh, hanging out in the chat room with Clean Tina from uh, from uh, uh, C- the Seattle yeah. area, um, including a bunch of other, holy crap, a lot of other people are there. Chris is in there. Uh, Gina's in there. Uh, uh, who else is talking? Uh, a lot of other people. Oh, I Bobby F. J. Town just dropped Jay-Town in. Bobby F. J. Town. We need him to make he, a mayhem. Yeah, He's making a mayhem mania match. He's the king of mayhem mania. Everybody just kind of comes out of the woodwork, Mm -hmm. it seems. So, anyways. It's uh, a good time of year to be a wrestling fan. It is. And if you're checking us out later or on another platform and have something to say, please hit us up at the email address or hotline that I mentioned earlier. Or you can tweet us at Mayhem Show with the hashtag WMS698. Uh, so with that, uh, also thank you to our Patreon supporters. Almost skipped that. Patreon, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Thank you to our Patreons at the fan of the show level. Bo Diggity! Woo! As well as Ed Burke, Tina Keys, Team Hammerfist, and Bobby FJ Town. And up uh, the Poppy Club, our friends Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Podner, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery, who just returned this month. Our friends at the manager level, OccupyProWrestling.com. Remember, in the coming months, you guys are going to get special benefits as Patreon supporters. Actually, I did send you guys a message for a special gift. Uh, a gift I give you. I give to you, the Patreon supporters. We like to do that every once in a while. You never know when it's going to pop up. I'm signing 8 by 10s You're si- Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could do that. We, 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 should, we should send a Ronnie signed, as seen on the Mayhem show, uh, 8 by 10 I'll to frame all. it, too. That would be, that'd be real nice for Valentine's Day. You just kind of like spray a little perfume on there, you there you Ronnie. You know, you XOXO. Like, we'll do some sexy poses. Yeah. Sexy go. poses. Sexy no, Ronnie. No, no, yeah. no. No. And riding the uh, thing from Never Ending Story. <laughs> Naked. Oh. There you go. Never ending story. By the way, sorry. Good God. <laughs> yes, yes, Poppy, man, Mike. Poppy is going to be at NXT TakeOver Portland. No. She's coming back. I'm Jeez. So that's fantastic. That War of the Worlds happening? She's, um, <laughs> yeah, Worlds Collide, that would be. Yeah. We'll talk about that stuff. Uh, again, yeah. please support the show, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. These are stories from last week. I'm not going to talk about those. Mm-mm. We're going to talk about stories for this week. What is going on this week? We have a Royal Rumble. Should mm-hmm. we talk about that at the top of the show? We, we have technically a- have two of them, although you wouldn't know from watching Raw and SmackDown. That is also true, yes. Uh, but hey, listen, I, I don't care what happens leading into Royal Rumble every year. I mean, let's, that's, I'm here for the Royal Rumble. And apparently they got the... They, I don't know if we talked about this on the show, but it seems like stipulations are in, whether it be uh, WWE you know, having a ladder match, a quote fist fight uh, last week. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's gonna be a quote fist fight. I loved what happened, but it was not a fist fight. It was there were everything. no fists thrown. There were no Except fists. For thrown. Maybe a low blow if you want to count. Uh, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you say it's a no rules thing, it was just a ref decides it's over match. Was basically what we had. But we do have some fun stuff going on. We do have a strap match between mm-hmm. the Fiend and uh, Daniel Bryan. Salvia Vega. What? No. Caribbean strap match? No, no, no. We're not doing no. that. No, no not Caribbean strap match. Just a normal strap match. Shit. I know, right? Caribbean strap matches are usually a little bit tangier. 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cuisine joke. Way to go, you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> We're so cultured on this show. I've been I've been watching Chef. Pinky's up, bro. Pinky's up. <laughs> Pinky's up. Uh, we also, didn't we just get announced? Uh, Roman Reigns. What's the Reigns and um, Corbin Reigns match? Corbin dog food match. Falls count anywhere. Oh, oh. Falls count what's anywhere. A, what's a dog and this Why is a dog food match. Make that kind of match on the same day where you're going to be in the Royal Rumble. Uh, Are you an idiot? Uh, yeah. 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 WWE, yeah. Also, also. Uh, I, no, Roman made the match. Yeah, Roman made the oh, match. Well, you know. And he announced he's in the Rumble. And we're on a ball field. Also, I forgot we were on a ball field for this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, and um, hold on, uh, guys. Before we, before we really deep dive into Rumble, um, I want to guess from everyone on the show and everyone in the chat room how many stealing signs jokes are we going to make <laughs> in houston i was just about to ask the same thing if what? we were if yes. we get one because i'm guessing three this is going to be a tough one for sorg because he doesn't ball? follow the sports ball is this a sports ball thing? Uh, uh, let, me, let me put it simply for you here sorgy um the houston astros cheated like a bunch of dogs, and they probably didn't deserve to win the World Series a couple seasons ago. That's baseball? That's what happened. Okay, They that's robbed baseball? the Yankees, Sorg. Are we, they robbed the Yankees. They robbed the Yankees? They did! Sports, they did. man. Sports. I, didn't th- I thought they had too much money to be robbed. <laughs> yeah, they can't be I robbed, mean, Mike. They uh, robbed other people. Guys, yeah, guys, yeah. guys, I have a real serious question. Yeah. Which tag team is the Yankees? Yeah, what is that? Um, which, which are, is, that an, is that an NXT UK game? Team? Um, no? The Yankees, I guess would be the forgotten sons <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> i don't even know who the forgotten sons are so I guess you know. exactly <laughs> all right all right there will be there will be a joke and you'll be like what is that where, what that'll be it's gonna be three. i presume you're gonna be here for the party on on, on sunday i, I think hope I so your, your thing yeah uh, I, I, hope so. I think you responded to it and, and, and so also, so there's at some point where i'm going to be confused i'm going to look over at matt and he's going to say no that was the joke no you like yeah. the astros yeah. cheated yeah and you'll i'm be also like, All right. predicting that someone on behalf of someone else is going to be in a replay room trying to signal someone in the ring whether it be Sami Zayn. Zelina Vega, Sasha Banks, Paul it's Heyman. Gonna be, it's gonna be one of them. Sami Zayn is not a woman. By God, it's gonna be I, Kane. Wait, did you just? <laughs> I said it's a manager. Oh, Sammy, yeah. Zelina, Sasha. Yeah. Either Sasha's gonna try and signal Bailey, Zelina's gonna try and signal Andrade. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, it's Sorg. Or... Sorg, if someone take grabs a stick and starts banging on a trash can, that's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's just not a that's not right. just a clever yeah. wrestling thing that's just that's that's it's not a, just that's some a random out of joke. nowhere thing it's, all right it's a sports way, joke all right matt, i'm glad you guys matt, are preparing me for this yeah matt did you hear that the staten island yankees have already made a, a free trash can night <laughs> i i had no idea that the you know i i don't want this to go too far down the sports ball rabbit hole but mad mike i had no idea that the yankees fans had had embraced this as the oh my god we got screwed moment as opposed to like the rest um, of the baseball world which is kind of like hey that's cheating that seems a little bit unfair but the well, yankees fans are like we got screwed i had no uh, idea because we did because <laughs> it was that because i can tell you from the look, alcs in 2017 look at the home and away i staff gotta tell you that the 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 that thought had not yet even crossed my mind when thinking about well, this whole cheating you saga don't live in New York it's because i don't give a flying playoff. crap about your stupid <laughs> baseball <laughs> team mike <laughs> is pittsburgh even aware they play baseball in hey October? hey but, whoa, whoa, shut whoa, your whoa, filthy whoa, filthy whoa, mouth whoa. all right look, look man <laughs> Baseball All right, sucks. you've it's been winning. Question. Your team's been winning for a hundred goddamn years. You could take a few ribs. All right, now yep. leave mine alone. Yes, All we right. ha- we have it. Hey, at least I'm not going as far as L.A. and petitioning Major League Baseball to just give them the past few chances. Hey, there's a Royal Rumble you know. this weekend, by the way, guys. <laughs> we're, 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 we're not focusing on it because WWE isn't focusing. On it. It's it's, but it's, I love the Rumble. We, I've been watching Rumbles, whether they be indie or otherwise. I, I it's just I, or rewatching the Guinness Record Rumble and realizing, oh shit, that guy was there, um, <laughs> because I literally don't, still don't know if some people were in there. Like I have still had conversations about this, but like, oh, were you there? I have no idea. Oh, the I filmed Guinness, it. The Guinness Rumble. It didn't yeah, the, matter? the Guinness Rumble that that I think got disqualified. So yeah, uh, sorry, bro, your trophy doesn't matter. Well, I mean, he won it. It doesn't mean anything. It's a Guinness World Record attempt. 
That's why you start with that and then go yeah. from there. <laughs> you also have to take into consideration I stole the trophy for a good three months. You did. I back you did. Him. I was like, here's your trophy back. You did. Um, but um, anyway, you should give him back to him since he's on the mend. He's Yeah. Oh, no, oh he has a back. Oh, he has a back? Oh, yeah. good. Oh, good. I made a joke that I was going to buy a Stanley Cup and I'd be like, this is a real trophy. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. So they didn't get the record. No. I don't think we got the record. I, I think something happened. I don't know if it was people climbing on the tower or somebody like dumped out or was somebody, not in there. I, somebody I can't did remember. something they shouldn't have done. So, yeah, yeah. Because there was like roles. Went into business for themselves. Yeah. Uh, and ruined that's, it for how, everybody. How do you yeah. fuck that up when literally your only purpose is to stay in the ring? Well. I think it's, I think if you're, you, you get too clever with it because. Guys. So, yes. Can I make a request? Yes. Yes. Can we talk wrestling? We, we are. are. We are no, talking I'm, about we are right now. I'm not talking. I'm not talking the indie stuff. Can we? Can we talk about what we're seeing? Well, you got a problem with the indie stuff? <laughs> no. I'll be happy to let you know. I'm a semi known We have another show for that. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, it's it's you know, Ronnie is kind of a deal. <laughs> yeah, it just depends okay. on who you're asking. For the <laughs> He's got his own trading card, damn it. Yeah, and I got an action <laughs> figure too. God damn rumble. it. What's that? Uh, rumble. Picks for the rumble. Picks for the rumble. Where do we go from here? John oh. Cena. He <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't shock me. He's uh, got to come back. It would not shock me if John Cena was number two and threw Brock Lesnar the fuck out of the ring. Oh, I'm telling you right now. If um, what's his face, uh, bro? If the bro dude or dude or what the fuck's Matt, Matt Riddle? Riddle? If Matt Riddle doesn't. Uh, Get rid of Brock Lesnar in that fucking Rumble. I'm pretty yeah, pissed. That could be fun. Oh, you're gonna be pretty pissed because Matt Riddle may not even be in the Rumble. I thought oh. he was in the Rumble. No, but well, no one from NXT has been announced in the Rumble. What? Uh, uh, no, like we got Wednesday. No, no, like no one from I'm NXT. Sorry. Has... NXT has actually been busy doing important stuff in wrestling. Uh, I know. But so, Dude, there and been plus, 20... we have a Worlds Collide. Or, and... There have been 22 people announced for the Rumble. Yes. No one from NXT has been announced. There'll be a few. There'll be like five. Do you know how many women have been announced for the Rumble? Mm-hmm. Take a guess. Everyone, everyone take a guess. Two. Three. Four. Four. <laughs> Your mic's not on. <laughs> I heard her. She's just yelling in the background. <laughs> what what women were uh uh only um Charlotte, Sarah Logan, Alexa, and Nikki Cross. That's uh, it. Four. I am with this. I was about to say this in the the chat room got ahead of me here. Uh Bobby and uh Tina said uh Drew McIntyre. Oh no. Drew dude Drew I'd be okay with that though. There's some setup for Drew. There and is but... there is there is some setup for Drew. Drew is finally getting to come out of his shell on mm-hmm. the show they're letting him do that um and there's been a lot of little things there like hey guys you see this drew hey here's a special on drew um yeah but, that's but they've been doing this for years uh, well i mean that doesn't well i think they're doing it now i, I you know i i, I think th- it could go anywhere with this but it's usually not really out of nowhere i don't even or think randy so. orton I don't even think <laughs> you don't say such things. Yeah. Drew's not even gonna be final. Okay, but is... let me let, let me hear out some reasoning before you sh- shoot us down here. Also, uh, Bobby says Elias. I don't think Elias because Ooh. Elias is one. Well, he's resigned, so mm, but I don't think Elias is ready for that. He's kind of doing fun middle of the card stuff right now. I don't even know when the last time Elias had a match was. Uh, probably on a house show. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, so I that mean, he, he's got to be. <laughs> Liz, it does count for working. Uh, at least as far as that. Oh, no, so I mean, he resigned. signed. That's good. I mean, either way, it, it, you can't discount. I know we're doing a side thing. You can't discount. You know, Elias is doing important stuff, whether they are what you see as important for rising in the ranks of wrestling. But the fact that they did give him like the Fox like spot on New Year's Eve is oh. fucking important. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah right. And that's something he talked about in that, that post I shared on the group uh, uh, from his Instagram about resigning. Um, so, like, there's there's a lot of investment in him. And I, it's kind of – and it doesn't – it's not like a Braun Strowman investment where that dude should have been given a belt, like, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Because why the fuck not? Um, so, so, yeah. What, so what, who, who I, think I was about to ask you before we had a skip here. Uh, Main Street, Matt, what, what do you think is going to happen to Rumble? Uh, well, Sorgi um, – as much as I would like to believe it would be anybody else, it would be very much in line with WWE's 
corporate philosophy if Brock Lesnar just kills those 29 other guys and goes wire to wire. That's a, I, I didn't even, I, I wasn't even playing in the Brock Lesnar factor because it's being played up so much. I figure we're setting up for somebody to step in here. Um, so but how, how do you see that playing out? I don't know. How many guys do you think he mows through before someone like the like first, actually challenges him? I think like, I'm trying to think, 10. like, you know, I mean, we've all, if you've watched more than a few Royal Rumbles, you know how this looks about whenever someone starts to, like, you know, start rolling through it, you know, like if, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example now off the top um, of my head. Uh, Kane in 2001. Kane, for when instance. When he started yeah, to roll, yeah, and he was almost yeah. by himself in the ring at one point, and was just, yeah. like, eliminating like, I'm sure bunches big, of I'm people. I'm sure Big Show had a run for, for of like, five or six guys at some point, yeah. too. There was, like, a um, uh, there was a year where uh, Punk and his uh, yeah, and the group. new Nexus were, uh, were rolling, it? and it was, like, Punk and, like, three other guys. Oh, it was And Nexus. no one could get him out. Yeah. Because it was, like, post-straight-edge society when that melded into the taking over the Nexus, right? Yeah, the Nexus was under new management. Okay. Yeah, okay. and it was CM Punk. And, and, and yeah. Yeah, and basically they were like holding down the entire ring yeah, until was, uh, I think John Cena Mason, finally came in and finally started what, to get people out. Wasn't it like Mason Ryan, Mike McGillicuddy? And oh yeah, yeah. It, it was New Nexus, so it was terrible. They they're just like a bunch of. Did the Wyatts do that one year a little bit? No, like I felt no. like they should have been. There was like that no. year where they were like sort of feuding with Brock, but Bray yeah, got yeah. hurt. Yeah. Uh, and there was supposed to be something. I all I remember is that and Brock cleaned house, and there was that moment where he just like. Yeah. Like Braun was like <laughs> fresh out of the box, and he did something, oh, and Brock just like cold cocks him in the middle hey, of the Royal Rumble. If it, you know it'd be great since I, I'm saying and, and I got agreement in the chat room that he's on the come up right now. What if Drew's the one that takes out Brock? No, another another that. big guy doing this. So there's so. like so there's like two um there's like uh, two prizes in this Royal Rumble. There's the win the Royal Rumble prize, and there's the eliminate Brock prize. That's right. That's so right. you think it's those like are an, one in the same, or like do you the, think one gets one no, and one no, gets no, the no. other? It's the other Xbox achievement of this one. There are two Xbox achievements yes. in this yes. Rumble. Yeah, yes. exactly. Get your ten. So do you think the same person I'm very gets both? Scared at who eliminates Brock? Okay. You're thinking I, Hornswoggle. I know. Worse. Like he slips on a banana peel. <laughs> no, worse. I I just don't want it to be quote unquote. Someone from the world of combat sports. Oh, well, you think like Cain Velasquez, that kind of Cain thing? Cain Velasquez, Tyson Fury, a combination. That was my of first guess. That was my first guess. What? Well, oh, kind yeah. of interesting. I don't want either of those two. Ronnie Starks, those. what do you think? Well, I just got back from the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> uh, what, what was the what question? Do you, well, who do you th think is going to win the Rumble? And or slip on a banana peel and eliminate Rock. Brock. Are, we, are we talking banana peel and Koopa Shell? We talking like like, like <laughs> blue Koopa shell? We talking like what are we talking? Like, 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 purple Koopa, Koopa shell, shell to eliminate like, Brock. Yeah, yeah, it just starts bouncing across the ring like the old WrestleMania original <laughs> NES <laughs> game. <laughs> or like, yeah, why is this like just just dumbbell just bouncing? Undertaker's across the ring just like this. throwing spirits at people. Yeah. Oh no, that's the other. That's the arcade game. So. No, that's the same one. No, no, no. I'm thinking the original NES game. Why is there a oh. hand bone bouncing across for uh, Andre? I don't know. Oh, but anyways, okay. Royal Rumble. What do you think the power up is? No, is that the question? The power up I don't know. What, power is, up. what what power up will it take to eliminate Brock? Brock? Yeah, 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 yeah. What uh, what oh. super mushroom uh, color? Uh... Well, <laughs> answer the question, so... Ronnie, before it changes. <laughs> Come again. on, Ronnie. <laughs> Some, somebody's gonna have to uh, take one of the stars, and then like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like you know they're gonna step on his head, and then he's gonna boop, boop, and then they're gonna. <laughs> Threw him over the top rope. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't even know who's in the Rumble match. Um, what's uh... just a WWE? <laughs> just fuck it, The Miz. Yeah, The, the Miz. Miz. Okay, that yeah, is a good that's, answer. That's a terrible answer, but The Miz. What do you or think John about Morrison? Um, uh, the Miz is probably not going to be as, as a dark horse to possibly <laughs> eliminate Brock. What about Kofi Kingston? Could you see him coming as in a for revenge, a revenge? As, as a revenge, revenge for that 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 loss, that yeah. could be fun. Or like a new day revenge. Mm -hmm. That's a nice dark no Xavier, horse. But... Love to see, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe maybe Biggie helps him, or maybe Biggie does it. Shit, yeah, maybe that'd Biggie be does awesome. It. Yeah, Biggie been... needs that push. Yes, he needs to get that uh, singles run. Yeah, the only problem is that well, if they do it, it's like then you're screaming for like the title match at Mania, like. The elimination sets up the title match. <laughs> so then yeah. what are we going to do for the so year So it seems after, like right? it should be... All right. So All three New Day guys every year is a WWE champion. There you and go. This is just there rotate you go. through. Uh, it's yeah. Big E's year. It'll be Xavier the and next. Now, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. That's nice good. rotation. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for being uh, being a friend. Um, so being so in the chat room... The New Day does need a long-term goal now. 
So yeah. yes, in the chat room, there's a lot of uh, what. What about the surprise uh, entrance from Tina? Um, so Tina's in the Rumble? No, 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 no. <laughs> Tina's, Tina, are you the surprise entrant? Um, Bobby is saying someone from the world of cargo shorts. Bah, bah, nah, bah. Um, also, hey, he's in the uh, Doolittle movie, by the way. John Have Cena. you seen it? Yes. Is it okay? That's one it's, step closer to being in the MCU, I think. Well, it's, oh, slightly, slightly. Is it, is it worth me paying five dollars tomorrow? So five dollars? Yes. Okay. More? Probably not. So five dollar movie day tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think Doolittle is worth it because it's going to be going fast. <laughs> Did not do okay. Um. Anyways, uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Um. So, like you mentioned, like Cain Velasquez and like Tyson Fury, like those are like the sad surprises. Is those there are like sad a happy surprises. surprise? Well, uh, I Tina, mean, Cena Tina, would be a happy Tina's surprise. Tina's referring at this point. to maybe an Edge comeback since that's been making the rounds. I mean, I'll be alright with that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's been like kind of like doing a lot of squash in that rumor, but then it almost makes you think that maybe that makes it even more like it's damage control, man. Like they're just like, oh no, mm-hmm. it's not gonna happen. Yeah. And then here's oh, on this day, and I'll be like, oh. They do it when when it, it you know you announce it. You forget about it after a month or two because um, wrestling fans do not have any uh, uh, sense of time <laughs> and memory. Long term memory fans are is, I believe, the company message at WWE. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the goldfish. I mean, it is. Target. It is. I mean, you. Can, I mean, look at how. Which is strange since I really don't think they're programming Monday nights for the short attention span for three hours. Uh, but. <laughs> Uh, no. Uh, so also from the chat, uh, Bobby says this year we get a Kofi spot, a Jomo spot, and a hopefully a Naomi spot. What is I Naomi? don't think Morrison Naomi's and been Miz doing kind of like the. the uh, you don't think Morrison what? I don't think Morrison and Miz are going to be in the Rumble because they're involved in that. Wait, what are they involved in? I think they're going to have a tag title match against New Day. Oh, oh at well. the thing. I okay. don't. I don't even think New Day is going to be in the Rumble. What? They, they have to put Come Kofi on. in the Rumble. No, they can't do it without spots him. Already filled. Do we yeah, feel like Kofi's going to be in it? They have such a deep roster that thirty men in a Rumble feels no, light. The <laughs> Rumble should have been changed to forty men. Uh, we don't need a forty man rumble. I don't, I don't think we need no, it. Dude, no, look, at, no. look at the roster. I know. Make it who are what, not here's, in the rumble. No, no. Let's roll this back a second. Now, the difference is now you can put thirty people in the rumble. It's not like back in the day when I was really pulling for Bushwhacker Luke to win the cha- win yeah, the Royal exactly, Rumble yeah. because <laughs> anybody could win this thing. It is actually we are putting thirty people in here that could be a legitimate next person for getting the top spot if you think about it not being wrestle super absorbed. Good. Uh, yeah. uh, overthinking fan, but you can put thirty people across three brands that says that guy could do it. Yeah, that could you, like you can believe that at this point. Even yeah. even if you go ten men from each roster and make people fight for rumble spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and it, then it, if the if, people who don't get rumble spots, yeah, can have their own matches. At if the show. if the Royal Except Rumble, it, people playing double duty. If the Royal Rumble comes up with less than. Uh, 25 people that I legit think could win this thing. There's going to be some joke spots or whatever. Archie's going to wander in or something. Who knows? Like if, no, you, if, you, don't, if you don't give me that, <laughs> that's true. If you don't give me that, then what the fuck are we doing here? Right? Uh-huh. And and uh, Women's Rumble should be just half NXT. Yeah. Well, so just Women's put... Rumble will probably be half NXT because... It, they, hope, they, yeah. they just don't have the roster yeah. on the They have a roster. We just never see them. Uh, uh, my, 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 uh, producer Missy. Merlo Missy. Merlo Missy is her <laughs> yes, name tonight. Missy. Yes. What are you um, saying? Where does James Ellsworth stand with all this? James Ellsworth? Why the fuck are we talking about him? What? Is he going to be that surprise entrant? I No. 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 <laughs> I don't. I hope not. He's. I no, mean, I haven't seen him guy. since RWA a couple months ago. Let's, but, uh, um, let's just pretend that question never that's came. Just, to I me. mean, that's what are you going to ask for? Talking. What are you looking for next, Enzo? Uh, you had I don't to think that's happening. Right. Enzo. Um, <laughs> Some, somewhere in Beachview, Dan Miles just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is, like two why people is he in Beachview? There. Uh, is man. that where he lives in Beachview? He lives, he By lives the way, right side note. He lives uh, in the farmhouse. Tina's, Tina's pointing out that Mansoor is commenting for 205 Live now. Commentating. They've been rotating yeah. a lot of people on 205 Live. Okay. Yeah, Mansoor. yeah. Mansoor is the one that won the won one of the greatest battle royals in Saudi yeah. Arabia, no, the, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, the greatest guy? battle royal in... Um, in uh, Crown Jewel. Let, let's pretend like I watched that pay per view. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, well, I'm, I'm informing. No, okay. you. It was terrible. I'm informing you, so because uh, I, I knew you wouldn't. Shit. I knew you wouldn't. Um, Anyways, uh, Mike, what, what do you got here? 
Well, I, I haven't made my picks yet. No, make your picks real quick so I can get the commercial. God damn it, yeah, Mike. Know, that's what I'm saying. If I could book who eliminates Brock, it's Keith Lee. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. that. That's what I would do. Give me Keith Lee, please. Keith Lee Give me Brock Keith Lee, Lee and then do. he wins, and then he uh, uh, goes no, no, for the... No, no, you didn't have to win. No, no, no. no. He wins, and then the roster, he goes for the NXT Championship in the main event, the actual main event of WrestleMania. But they're talking yeah. about go. bringing Keith Lee to the main roster. Already? Um, yeah. Really? I, yeah. I, I think Roman is going to win the Rumble. I don't want, I don't want that. No. But... If I could book someone to win the Rumble, it would be The Miz. Okay. <laughs> to go against Daniel Bryan, who finally conquers The Fiend. But that's not going to happen. Yes, because that would be amazing. Yes. Oh, boy. Uh, well, anyways, if you are uh, if you want to see Rumbles, we got a, a good feature going on this week. Uh, Merlo Missy, before she was drinking. Uh, maybe this is why she's drinking now. Uh, put together a wonderful compilation this week that's going up on our social media for IndieWrestling.us. Uh, so go check that out. It's seven days of Rumble featuring independent wrestling rumbles of the last several years, uh, including uh, the Rumble in Royal Valley, the uh, Renegade Rumbles from RWA. I believe we have a welterweight wrestling rumble in there. Uh, but we got to make sure, double check that people don't have warrants against them. Uh, we also have uh, also just just repopulating that. I know it's it's out there already, but the, uh, the we've talked about briefly, I think, before the show, though, though during the show, I guess we did. That's when the drinking started. Uh, the uh, world <laughs> record uh, attempt Royal Rumble with 109 people. We couldn't get that 10th for some reason. Um, I should have just jumped in there with a camera and just so we were even, right? Uh, but I don't, I don't know. Hey, I won two Rumbles this year. You won two Rumbles this year? Oh, we, do, do we have either of them on the network? No, then stop no. talking no. about them. No. IndieWrestling.us, the IndieWrestling.us network, five ninety nine a month. Go check it out, including Rise Wrestling, Prospect Pro Wrestling, Renegade, uh, Renegade Wrestling Lines. I had an insane anniversary show this month with a bloody dog collar match. Um, a fans bring the weapon match that was insane, uh, and and you don't have to get a mouthful of fire extinguisher in order to watch it. A cage match on that show, uh, a a six way ladder match uh, with featuring uh, uh, the Rev Ron Hunt, just John Roden, and and more in there. Um, go check that out. All five nine a month. Go check out seven day free trial. Uh, over there so you can see what's going on including uh reps with rigatonia two episodes of that already out more to come as well as uh women we women wrestlers with waffles uh uh Brec what was it breakfast with champions and uh duke and Do's hardcore memories uh, talking about some old ecw so you can check out more stuff coming indywrestling.network and of course check out everything at indywrestling.us on vod and dvds we have new, if you like a DVD, if you like your physical media, we got them too. Uh, and uh, we got some great 2019 packages for some of our ongoing uh, production. So please go check that out, IndieWrestling.us. The DVD has been flying, off the, flying out the door here. Uh, they've been reacquainting ourselves with the uh, postal man out there. If you like DVD, the Colada. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Okay. <laughs> so. Getting caught in the rain. And also, we uh, so so there was something that popped up here, and I know Ronnie, you told you told this story, I think, probably on Gold or something. But there's this picture that popped up that I had to share. There is um, let's see if I can pick the right thing. Here is uh, looks like is that Virgil hugging Ronnie Starks? Yeah. That's not a hug. Uh, no, a, he, a, he was choking me out. A, oh, somebody called that the ten dollar dream. I think in the uh, in the post. <laughs> uh, <which> is, <laughs> I can't believe that. That's is, still too much. I can't. It's still too much. <laughs> <laughs> that's a twenty. That'll be twenty dollars, uh, uh, Ronnie. That's uh, uh, it's called the fuck money dream. That's a fuck money dream. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's his Olive Garden gift card dream. Olive Garden gift card dream. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Limited breadsticks dream. And I know, I, I know, I've heard the story, but I figured it should come up since it, it, it did pop up in the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show group. But uh, can you tell me about your experience with Virgil here and where the hell this picture came from? <sighs> And right. this is the only like media of this thing having it. There's no video. No, I right? made sure there was no video. You made sure yeah. I burned all the copies. I, it's like uh, the ET game that just got buried somewhere, buried in Nevada somewhere. Yeah, like no one ever found it. Anymore. Yeah, there is a video somewhere. I'll find it. Um, all right, so here's what happened. Uh, it was a Comic Con in Youngstown, Ohio, and uh, the promoter set up a ring in the corner of the uh, the convention center. And he paid for Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Virgil and somebody else was there. I can't remember. Uh, so 
we did this big uh, eight-man tag match at the end of the show. Uh, it was Team Hacksaw. So it was him. I forget who it was all in the fucking match. It doesn't really matter. That was like 10 years ago. And um, so what happened was uh, the promoter didn't trust Virgil to stick around for the show. Mm-hmm. So he's like, Ronnie, here's Virgil's money. Here's his payday. I'm going to need <laughs> you to hold on to his payday. And the spot at the end of the show will be Virgil is going to pick a fight with you. You're going to start poking Virgil in the chest. And then he's going to put you in the million dollar dream and he's going to take his payday and he's going to leave. And I was just like, ah, all right. So we did the spot. Uh, it was funny because he keeps saying, brother, go to the hard cam side. And I'm like, Virgil, we're at a Comic Con. There's no hard cam. No one's filmed this show. <laughs> brother, the hard cam is over there. We got to go to that side of the ring. I'm like, Virgil, there's no hard cam. So we ended up going to the opposite side of the ring. He put me in the million dollar dream. And then he's like, are you all right? And I'm like, yeah, dude, like, here's your money. <laughs> I, I, I wish I was more excited about it, but he just wanted to get out of there. Mm-hmm. So he basically, he left his suitcase by the door. He got his money, told me to go fuck myself, and walked out the door. With Wait, he literally said, go fuck yourself? Yeah. Did he mean it as a compliment, or was it I, I, like I, I an ironic Was it because of the money situation? Or? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He, okay. he was funny, though. I mean, yeah. he, he was yeah. a nice guy to talk to, but... Uh, it, it was a moment. I had my Virgil moment. So there you go. I think everybody has one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, has for it. better, for good or ill, you know. So I had to carry his <laughs> money for the entire show, mm-hmm. and during the Comic Con too. When I got through the premiere, gave me the envelope, said, "Hold on to this until the end of the show." So how much of Virgil's money did you take home with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a question for gold, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a question for gold. <laughs> So that is have none of my business. Well, yeah, have, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Ronnie none went yeah. home. For, none yeah. None of your business. Got, he, he, Ronnie can't, went home with $10 and some new uh, Turtles figures for some reason. Ronnie, you've never gotten a payday this big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> can't really answer that fucking question on the air. No, 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 no. no. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, yeah, you're yes. you're going to get me in trouble, man. You need to call him now. Oh, I just thought it would be a funny joke. <laughs> so, by the way, did I catch this? Because I... I'm hearing AEW talking on the show last week, and that's your first mistake. Is hey, mm-hmm. hey, 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 Tony Schiavone and fucking Jr. and Excalibur are a good team. I don't care Taz. what you have to say. Taz is I don't care what you say. They're 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 giving they're giving Uncle Jr. some more tips on who the fuck is in the ring. That's good. Okay, <laughs> and and he still doesn't understand it, but he's playing along. To be a good grandparent, okay? It's good. It's all right. It's okay. Sorg, Sorg, I don't tune into wrestling to listen to a nursing home. I well, you know, this is it's Sorg, kind of always Sorg. been there when you look back at things. Don't, don't placate these these haters. These Talk haters. to me, oh, oh. <laughs> Matt. Yes, sir. So, am I to understand that this week's AEW show mm-hmm. is going to take place? On a boat. Yes. This is happening. It's happening. And not only that, John Moxley has injured his eye, meaning that he is going to be Pirate Moxley on a boat Wednesday night on live primetime television. I have a very it important appears, question. Yes. Hold on. I'm talking to Matt. I'm talking to Matt. Ronnie? But, th- but this what? question involves... Okay. Where there be hoes on this boat. I'm, what? <laughs> Boats and hoes? Boats and hoes? Are there wrestlers uh, on the boat? They're missing uh, a vast opportunity. What do you think? Would it be rats and <laughs> boats and rats? Though? Boats and rats? Yeah. Rat, rat, I, I imagine. I'm sure there's some on the boat. Good. I mean... <laughs> good. got an entire roster of wrestlers on the boat, Ronnie. Also, John Moxley is happily married to somebody that works for another company. But technically, he's on a boat right now. And he's on international wire, waters. Rules are meant to be broken on the combination of um, international date Ronnie, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> the combination of international waters and White Claw takes the lawlessness to just, just level. Another level. Just, there just, just are an... no laws. There are no laws. No, no. Does that mean... <laughs> <laughs> if you drink White Claw in international waters, like well, you can kill someone and get away with it, right? <laughs> Can I, should we tweet this to White Claw? Like, That's actually what I've heard. Yeah. Hypothetically, Hypothetically, if, if I, I were on the Jericho cruise and I just <laughs> killed a guy, but I was drinking White Claw, are we good? Gina in the chat room says, Rafts with ra- rats. Rafts with rats. Rafts, rats. Yeah. rafts, rafts with, with rats. rats. Yes. Yes. Preserve the rafts. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. 
Uh, um, but, but, uh, to answer question. your question, a... yes. Yes, um, Boat. Yes, no. Pirate Moxley. Yes, Moxley singing Sweet Caroline karaoke. I saw that what? clip today. What? Yes. What? That, yeah, oh, wait. Thing. The cruise is happening the, right the now. The cruise is happening right now. The, the show was taped today. Oh, okay. Okay. It's going to oh, air oh, tomorrow. Oh. So stay the hell off the Twitter machine. Okay. Off Don't the Twitter get yourself machine. spoiled. Oh, it's way. already too late okay. for some of you. I, I mean, understand was, that. The other thing, and also as somebody in the uh, mainstream television game, how hard would it be? Because I thought this is what was happening that we had to a broadcast live, live from a cruise broadcast ship. Broadcast live from a cruise ship on the water. Uh, uh, d- <laughs> That's <laughs> no. all I want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, WWE <laughs> hasn't even dared this. WCW didn't dare this. I mean, I mean, they did spring break, but you know, yeah, spring break, sure. You would I, mean, I mean, no, you'd have to put a satellite truck on the damn boat. Yes. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Say, it's a big boat. And then you'd I'm have like, to like, how get, big you'd is have this to boat? Anchor the boat. Anchor the boat. Okay. So it doesn't go anywhere, right? Because if it goes somewhere. Which one did you already have to retune your satellite? Oh yeah, the boat's gotta stay. Okay, yeah, we can boat's just gotta stay. And you're probably way right. too far right. out, and all the other kind of like wireless How? RF so technology yes. that we use now and yeah. use to cheat around not be, having a satellite truck it should be still just like watch clearer, out for the icebergs because you're in the water. Yeah, and watch you're out for out the, the fucking icebergs. You're out in the middle of nowhere. You can barely get Wi-Fi reception out there on the boat, let alone like get like a uh, barely get Wi-Fi reception. And some of these guys can what? barely get the what? Barely get a signal off the boat. Have you been on a boat? Have you done a cruise? Yeah, okay. It was a while ago. Tell me about cruises. I, it was 15 years ago, sorry. Oh, oh, okay. I, I did a cruise like two years ago. You can have Wi-Fi on a cruise. Okay, well, there you, you go. Do you there get you go. Like, really bad boat sickness on a big cruise ship? Or how does that work? Who, me? Yeah, is it possible to get like motion sickness? I mean, sick- if you're going to get motion sickness, you're going to get motion sickness on a cruise ship. Yeah. But yeah. It, it just feels like a giant building moving, though. Yeah, it? yeah. I mean, I think it, it's a little... You little think steady. they also filmed it while the boat wasn't moving? Had to be. No it had idea. to be. Moving. Had to be. I can't imagine. Had to be. I hope Although, somebody went overboard during the the filming. Yes, or it's in a pool. Like they still put it in a pool, like Panama City style, because they seem to. They're they're like, hey, you know, we're gonna bring back like the fun parts of WCW, <laughs> but not like the shitty booking parts of WCW. Hopefully, I hope somebody does a um, cannonball. See, the the problem was TNA brought the shitty booking parts of WCW, but not the fun parts like Spring Break. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Also, lost myself a little bit watching uh, 2013 lockdown um, on on Pluto TV last night. Uh, so <laughs> that was a lot of fun. There was like sword, a three sword. Tag. I told you what to watch. What but... what? I told you to watch BattleBots. BattleBots. Oh, I, mean, I didn't couldn't I couldn't find it on the Discovery app. To be honest, it's on there. I, I you're gonna have to show me a link to it or I, something because I I, 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 I found it on my phone. Show you. And I, you, you better fucking show me. Are we talking, fucking show like, me these battle bots. Are we talking early 2000s battle bots? Uh, no, they're, 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 still, they're still on there. They're still showing up. Mad Mike, we talked about it. I don't want to get into it here, but a teaser for the other show. If you go check out the Monday Mayhem uh, Wrestling Wrap Up, I got to get a shorter title. I went I went to live battle bots. You went to live battle bots this what? weekend. That was his indie show. It was great. Yes. So <laughs> like, <laughs> independent it was, it was battle, independent battle robot robots. warfare. Was his uh, was his indie wrap up for the week? <laughs> so, I was more entertained by that than I have been by AEW. So maybe you start a new segment on one of these shows. That's um, sweaty, uh, sweaty uh, ball bearing re- wrestling. Yeah, yeah, okay. sweaty bot punching. Yeah, there you go, there you go. That that rolls off the tongue a little better. Oily bot punching. Hey, you know what else rolls on the tongue? Our good friends at Slice on Broadway celebrating, uh, supporting. Pe- 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 I lost it. I'm sorry. I lost it. Supporting, I, I've been very sick. Uh, the supporting pig. Pittsburgh Podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza. Our friends here are all around four locations in the Pittsburgh area. And once again, the unofficial campaign of the Wrestling Mayhem show with them. If you are somewhere not in Pittsburgh, you want to slice on your Broadway, take a picture of a Broadway Avenue in your town, send it to PGH underscore slice on the Twitter, and tell them you want to slice on your Broadway. And let them know the Wrestling Mayhem show sent you. Thank you so much to them for supporting the show and feeding us on the Mayhem show and our guests. Hey guys, it is time. I think we're on the eve of Mayhem Mania. We're going to figure out how many people we can fit in the show in the next uh, 10 minutes. Uh, But it will come right back and all just appear for you guys on the podcast uh we'll be right back after this message from katie sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com oh, wow guys the internet is for porn let's be honest it's, yes so and now looks like you made it 
Uh, so we were just talking about on the break on some interesting things you can find in dark corners of the internet the involving internet friends of our show, cool. strangely <laughs> enough. And it's not what you think from that comment. But we got a hell of a crew with us, of course. Uh, we... We, we, we do suspend big big question for Mayhem Mania. I remember that being a thing, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Because this is going to be like the next hour. Uh, and hopefully... <laughs> Let's hope not. Yeah, hopefully the technology <laughs> holds up here. We fixed one thing and broke another when we uh, set this up today. Mainstream Matt is with us, uh, yeah. and we got a hell of a crew with us uh, to do the Mayhem Mania. Did I get enough people? Did we? Did I get enough people? We've got enough people. Okay, good. So with us, of course, Ronnie Starks is still with us. Hey, there he is. Merlo Missy is still on the microphone somewhere back there, I think. Maybe she's sitting on the floor. I don't know at this point. How much do you think I've had to drink? I don't know, because according to them, they can see you, and it sounds like you've been drinking a lot. Uh, we have, of course, no. Mad Mike is with us. <laughs> That's quiet. No. Oh, hey, Gina's with us. I love the Otis and Mandy forever. How's it? Hashtag. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, oh, you have oh, to yeah. say like Otis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So a little bit of Macho Man, but, but a little bit. But, yeah, no. but like I've had a lot of donuts mm -hmm. and a lot of tongue flicking for and some. tongue flicking. Uh, main or Mad Mike is with us still being distracted. Also, Dave Potter's with us. Dave. Hey, Zork. Thanks for having. There you Thanks go. Thanks for having. And a, and a cat. cat. And with and cat. cat and Leo. No, no yes. help. No help from your My pets. Assistant. If Hello, Dave, cats. If Dave Potter had an action figure, it would be with small cat <laughs> and tiny um cat size furniture. <laughs> See awesome cats for that story. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and also from the other side of the country, Tina's with us. Tina, West Coast. Hello, hello, Tina. Hello. Welcome back. It's been a while. Yes, it has. And uh, so I'm supposed to wear a bandana too. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 yeah, Mike. Okay. Didn't you get the memo? I wasn't prepared. God damn it, Mike. <laughs> damn it, damn it. I'll, I'll get a hat. At least. Okay. <laughs> In a hat. <laughs> wear it backwards. <laughs> yes, wear it backwards. So this was where I turned it over to Mainstream Matt to preside over the start. Welcome back, of Mayhem Mania. To, welcome back, dear friends, to year six of Mayhem Mania. Jeez. Uh, it's uh, kind of a competitive thought experiment. The goal is to create the best WrestleMania card possible within the boundaries of the current reality in which we all live. That means everyone that you're trying to book in this little exercise comes in their current contractual, physical, emotional, pharmacological. Uh, status basically pharmacological the drug store okay um so basically you are vince mcmahon with um unlimited resources and zero self-control uh the goal is not to predict what wrestlemania is going to be the goal is to make the best wrestlemania card possible which means yes better than the actual wrestlemania uh so tonight the um the process will be that we will create eight matches each one of you will create one uh which must be at least reasonably possible to happen in real life. Uh, so before we get to eight of all eight of our players, not only tonight, my friends, not only will you get to create one match, but because uh, we're all about um, controlling the uh, the amount of names and the people who are sometimes involved in this little process, uh, we have this little thing that we used to do last year in the previous years. We would hand out eliminators as a mm -hmm. little reward for people, and basically you would use an eliminator, you would earn an eliminator, and they would use this eliminator to eliminate someone from Mayhem Mania entirely so that they could not be used for the rest of Mayhem Mania. Well, we put a little twist on it this year. There we go. <clears throat> this is not a wheel, Sorg. It's not a wheel? It's a forbidden portal! Oh, that All is right? trippy. So, instead of eliminators this year, uh, you will still use your eliminator, but when you use your eliminator, you will send that person through the forbidden portal to space jail! And then uh, every week... Um, what we'll do is we will spin this wheel. Sorry, are you following me? Yeah, I am. Every week what we'll do is we, is we will spin this wheel one time, and we will see if someone can break out of space jail and <laughs> re-enter Mania Mania. Okay? Okay. So, okay. for all of you, for all your intents and purposes for this evening, make one match, put one person into space jail. Oh, this is great. Mad Mike approves. Just um, to be clear, you use your eliminator and you put them into the vortex of what did you call it? Space jail. No, I don't call it space jail, but you call it the forbidden portal. Oh, forbidden portal. Yeah. This is some serious Matt Hardy shit. This is some deep lore. <laughs> 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 um, we're gonna have eight players, Sorgi. Um, we wanted to give our. Um, I guess if there's anyone who we could classify as a champion of Mayhem Mania, it's Bobby F. J. Town. Mm -hmm. uh, so we asked him to send us a match. 
uh, so that we could get to our eight individuals, which you know only seems fair. And he has he has work on Tuesday nights, unfortunately. So so at least we got him in. Yeah, so we'll get him in uh, very mm-hmm. first thing, and then from there we'll go. Who will do? Uh, I don't know what the order will do. Uh, and after Bobby, <laughs> we'll do Ronnie, and then we'll do Storg, and then we'll do Honey Badger, and then we'll do Dave Podner, and then we'll do Tina, and then Mad Mike will back clean up. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. I was doing him a favor. All right. Oh, wait. Do you, oh, it's about Are you? Yeah, no, he Are has you? a hat. He has a hat on. Now. All right, so let's begin. Um, Bobby F. Jaytown sent us his first match. It's going to be uh, Finn Balor, Demon Finn, versus The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. So that okay. is going to be his first thing. And he has sent Randy Orton to Space Jail. Wow. So that wait, means... Wait, none do of we you... all have an eliminator? Yes. Or... yes. Matt, okay. I, have, I have a question. Yes. Can I send a match concept to Space Jail? Um, I'll allow it, but remember, we're not going to get into match concepts until... That's fine. That's fine. You know, Patreon in the bank. Mm-hmm. That's when we get into, like, um, stipulations, yeah, special referees. Yeah. That's when the weird shit starts. That's not for another couple months. Ronnie? What? Would you like to make a match? I would. I'd I knew you would. I'd also like to eliminate that match. But you can't. Oh, no. You can't do that yet? No? All right. No. No. All right, well, that takes away from who I wanted in that match. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Mayhem Mania, right? Yes. It, it's happening early already. Uh, do you know who you want to send to Space Jail first? Oh, Enzo. Get him the fuck out All of right, here. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, Enzo, you are not welcome on the Wrestling Mayhem show. No. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. He's about to text me, but you fucking prick. All right. All right. Uh, I want to do. Um, let's see here. Oh no, I got something good. I want to do um, <laughs> DIY. All right, all right, all right, all right. Versus the Time Splitters. Oh, oh yes. Damn you, Ronnie. Yes. Were you gonna do Time Splitters? Uh, no, no, I wasn't. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Sorgi. I like that. I I would like to see, uh, first of all, let's eliminate uh, Lacey Evans. <laughs> oh, yes. Lord, I love you. Thank just, you. Just for reasons. Very un-American let's just, of let's you. Let's just get that Lacey so Evans somebody who doesn't, you know, somebody's going to think they're funny and try to put her in a match later. <laughs> That's always the fear. Yeah. People who yeah. think they're funny. Yeah. This is not a joke, Sorg. Yeah, this is a serious a I mean, exercise. I mean, I respect her years in the military as a Marine. Thank you for your service. But get out of here with the rest of that shit. She's going to join the Space Force. The Space Force. Yes. Star Wars. Whatever. Oh, let's not get started, please. And... No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tina. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the political glad statements you, on I'm glad Tina's here please. to keep us in line. Yes. <laughs> um, anyways, I would like to, because a weird thought had I had in my head is, because we were talking about old people that we've done shows with and stuff when uh, Ronnie was here last week. And I thought, these are two people that I had a drink at a bar uh, chatting with um, in Philadelphia once. And I realized they're both in WWE. So fuck it. I want to see Elias versus Tony Nese. Elias versus Ooh. Tony Nese. All right. I think that would be a good match. Actually, I've probably seen that match. There's a lot of muscles in that. I'd love to see, I've probably seen that match. And I'd like to see it 10 years later. <laughs> I, I would, There's a I lot would of like to see it too. That match. Yes. A lot of muscles. A lot of muscles. Also a lot of muscles. All right, Badger. Uh, I. Oh, you took your thing off for now. <laughs> and boop. The camera work is on Nightmare Tonight there you for go. Sword. Poor guy. Yes. Uh, uh, I would like to see is anyone across like the WWE brands. WWE mm-hmm, brands. Definitely. Yeah, it's probably evolved too. Yeah, there's an envelope Let's that you can honest. press on. So go ahead and <laughs> explore the... The space Lord of your imagination. Space. Go ahead. Come on. Let's hear it. I can't wait. Come on. Wow. Calm down. I, Easy. Come on. <laughs> uh, I would like to see uh, Raya Ripley versus Mercedes Martinez. Oof. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We got a lot of toys to play with this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Uh, Honey Badger, do you want to please send someone to space, Joe? Anybody? Literally anybody. Got thoughts. <laughs> Got thoughts. Tensions. Oh man, me. I didn't realize 
Who is the most this repulsive? This is a good chance for me to mention is, real quick here. Oh, he, well. this, is, this is the only way to think about it. Who is the most repulsive person in WWE to you right now? Who is the last person well, you want to see in a match? Ooh. Well, I was going to say, I could. She's, she's not in WWE. But um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had that conversation last week. We That's did. for gold. <laughs> uh, shit. There's a lot of this. This is the usual. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, a lot yeah, of thought yeah. going into this, you know. Uh, well, well, it's more Paul, Paul, like Hold Bobby on. says he wants to see Randy Orton and Lacey Evans in 12 rounds three escape from space chair. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'd watch that, but that might be a show title sense. right there, Sork, for you. <laughs> oh, probably, probably Bailey. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Not not wow. feeling this new Bailey. No, I'm more not, just like feeling... disappointed. She like soccer mom Bailey. <laughs> yeah, like let them do that to her, like. Cool. I have a giant head, so give me this haircut that makes it look even <laughs> goddamn bigger. <laughs> All I'm right. gonna go pick my kids By up the way, from soccer um, practice now. <laughs> speaking of haircuts, did you guys know that there was an actual barber under the ring when Daniel Bryan got his hair ripped out? What? Yeah, his name was that's, the Fiend, and he ripped it straight out of his face because no, that's how no. beards work. No, like, like legit. There was a barber. Can't you just keep a keep man? Daniel Bryan's beard under the ring in the dark. That seems like yeah, something no. that deserved a more proper send off. No. Yeah. yeah. That, that, yeah. That's a legit thing that happened. Mm. Brian did a whole interview about it. Keep a keyfabe, man. Jeez. Wild. Jeez. Jeez. breaking it. Dark forces. Wild to me. I'm going to send you to was space Horns- jail, you was, the, was the barber's name Hornswoggle? Was that. <laughs> I don't know. Does that joke still work? Um, all right, all right, here, uh, Dave yeah. Podner. Dave Podner, let's roll, buddy. Okay, okay. Uh, before I get to my match, let me throw my person in space jail first. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to sit through a 30-minute entrance <laughs> while he's coming down the ramp. Don't you fucking do it. And whatever no. massive don't you thing he has while we're waiting for his quads to blow <laughs> up again. Oh, no. For, for Triple H in jail. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. oh, wow. You took my eliminator. <laughs> 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 wow that wasn't where i thought you were going with that i thought you were going that was pretty good i like that that was a little swerve at the because, end that's good all right because well, every wrestlemania he has the biggest longest thing to come yeah. down to the ring he also yeah. has the biggest longest match compensation kind of no, compensation not, yeah. <laughs> not triple but okay and i have someone who i want to use but i'm not sure if he's considered injured or if he would be eligible okay here we go so I, I need a ruling here. This is, I love, I love a good okay, ruling. Let's, let's get the decider out. <laughs> okay. Velveteen Dream. I think he's I think still he's recovering from his back injury. What is the prognosis by Mania? Yeah. Uh, I That's the question, we, right? I, I assume we may see him sooner rather than later, i.e. Sunday. What does the cat think? Leo? <laughs> Leo, what do you think? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a dream. He wants to dream. Okay. Everyone we, wants we got, to we dream. Got the cat as, as dream has as dream has said, he is bilingual. Mm-hmm. Yes. So <laughs> there you go. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm going. I mean, if dream's good, because I'm doing a good Google, that, seeing if I can find out for sure. Okay. All right, we got research. Uh, do you want to box it? Do you want to? Well, you want to give your right, match? I, I, I got I got, a, I got a I got a report from a week ago. Okay. Mm. That says. The dream's back injury, pretty serious. No word yet on when he'll be back. Wow. So we don't know. So we, we don't know. I think, I think we got to consider him out right when now. When did that happen? Okay. I'd wait a week, Dave. But you know okay. what? Maybe he pops up here. And if he's going to pop up, he's going to pop up in the next few weeks. So we'll mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. I, I'd say oh, I'd say Sunday. <laughs> I'd say <laughs> Sunday. Just, just give it to him. Yeah. In yeah. a, in right. a match. I, I don't have to go surprise. back in order to actually take him away if we find out. Like, what if Dream never comes back? Well, I mean, what do we do when somebody just gets injured in the process of this situation? I don't think it's ever happened. Really? really? Matt, where yeah, are you oh, it's definitely a chance that somebody's Where am I getting my news? Producer yes. Messi's from working. the internet where all news comes from. Fact check. <laughs> <laughs> what is your day job again? I, f- I found an article that tells me okay. that uh, it's still possible that Dream returns to action in the next few weeks. Mm. Mm. And this was from. From January 14th. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at, too. Still Wrestling possible. Inc. Yeah. We okay. could turn within it. Citing, oh. citing the Observer, so. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. So, uh, Who did we ever beat? <laughs> well, the next few weeks <laughs> indicates that it's probably going to be before Mania. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be fine. All right. You know what? Let her ride. Come on, partner. Let's, okay. hear it. Do, it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so. You know, they, 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 they can, you know, march him out there and do a 30-second match. That That's true. Yeah, he's probably not going to make it, but. 
at least to make the because because I'm I'm thinking match, but I'm also thinking promos. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Dream versus Truth. Oh boy. But Truth thinks he's talking to Dustin. to the American Dream, okay. not the Velveteen Dream. So he keeps on referencing awesome. the polka dots. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is awesome. I'm, I'm with this. Oh, I'm with boy. this. Oh boy. Uh huh. Well All right. Done. Because because also we need truth. I just want I just want <laughs> truth to start singing. He's just a common man. Yes. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, All boy. right. Thanks, Dave. Okay. Let's uh bring Tina in. All right, Tina. All right. Um, let me go ahead and start off with my eliminator. Yes. Space Geo. Um. The more, the less mess ups, the better in Mania. Yes. Ronda Rousey. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, Tina, I love it. She's a, uh, is, is baby vac- is babycation over with her, her? I think, I thought I heard. Baby making vacation? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I thought it was. Um... Oh, did she lose that match too? I think she lost that match too. <laughs> Oh, oh, All right, Tina. Oh boy, no, it just had a screwy finish. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that's or why maybe we that was it. the problem. Oh. Uh, well, we got to abort that conversation. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Well, too much. Wow. <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Tina, yeah. please move us on. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh. All right, Tina. All right. Um, so my match. Mm-hmm. Um, on one side we will have uh, we do shiny stupid shit. Um, <laughs> so that will be <laughs> nice. It's, it's a, you'll if you watch Shimmer, you'll under um, old school Shimmer, you'll understand. So it's me and Yem. Okay. Kaylee Ray. Uh oh. Okay. And Tegan Knox. Whoa. Okay. Mm. The shiniest one. Versus. Oh. Versus a tr- a trio that Mad um Mad Mike would appreciate. Oh, I'm gonna like this. The Kabu the Kabuki Black Lotus Tribe. Yes. Ooh. Yes, Tina. Oh. Yes. Is that the uh, Asuka? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Io Shirai mm-hmm. and Kyrie Saint. Yep. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh, brother. Yes. Oh. Get Kyrie brother. and her pirate ship to Mania. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Please. Awesome. Oh, Please. Oh, oh. Awesome. Thanks, Tina. Wow. Awesome. Let's hear. Mad Mike. Jesus. I don't even know where to go with any of this now. How many of your matches have been taken? Um, so many. I already lost a couple. <laughs> so many. I can't even make one now because one of the people have been thrown to the black vortex of death. Yeah. I really have. I, I was to gonna make the... DX Space Joe really ruined me. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I was. I was gonna make DX versus DIY. Hmm. That was gonna be my initial match. That was the, the first. Performance thing center explodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Exactly. Um, but first, you said I can do a match concept and throw it into the Phantom Zone, right? Yes. We all see. <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, no, no, no. Alex Cars fucked me last year. Oh. I, a Lannister always repays his debts, motherfucker. <laughs> He's going to have to get real for I'm only going to do it once. Yes. If it gets out of Space Shield, I will not do it again. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see how the rest of the, the year yeah, goes. Yeah. To be honest, <laughs> it pisses me off at all. But yeah. yeah, all right. Now, see the thing is, if he's on next week, he's just going to change whatever match I make now. Yes, I'm gonna have to make it really good. My match is Volter versus Keith Lee. Ooh, yes, Ooh. Volter. Yes. Ooh. yes, yes. I'm pretty sure even the darkest of souls will not want to see that match changed. Very nice, very nice. All righty, all right. That's seven matches. That means that means I get a turn. Yay. Oh yeah. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> you know, I honestly did not think much about who I was going to send to Space Jail, but I had three or four good matches lined up, and you guys have ruined at least two or three of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
you know what? I'm going to salvage what I can from my idea. You know, I, I, I really enjoy booking the Undisputed Era, mm -hmm. but in good conscience, I cannot include all four members of the Undisputed Era. So I will take Cole, O'Reilly, and Strong. <laughs> all right. Is, it, is Bobby oh, injured again? Bobby. No, no. I know exactly where this is going, actually. Okay. Cole, O'Reilly, <laughs> and Bobby's Strong. And they will take on... Um, What's left of the horsewomen, Shayna and all her friends, um, Shayna Baszler and uh, the other two, Marina <laughs> Shafir and uh, Jessamyn Duke. Yeah, boys versus girls, Undisputed Era. And Husband I will ship versus his wife. Yeah, excellent. Even better. And Bobby yes. Crush is going to Space Joe. Oh, thank you. Thank oh. you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Oh, I, I appreciate that. Shayna, uh, you, hate, you hate to see it. Maybe, maybe we'll take him out of Space Joe if he pays his debts. <laughs> Hey. That's right. So that is I'm it. Be, I'm glad Cars is not in the chat room. I can't wait to see his reaction. <laughs> We're going to see it. We're going to see it on the group in the next couple of days. All right. Recap time. Recap. Here we go. Good job, guys. This was very quick and relatively painless. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt, created by Baba F. J. Town, Ronnie Starks, DIY versus the Time Splitters. Elias versus Tony Nese, created by Silvertron. Rhea Ripley versus Mercedes Martinez, created by Honey Badger. Velveteen Dream versus R Truth, created by Dave Podner. Mia Yim, Kaylee Ray, and Tegan Knox versus Asuka, Io, and Kyrie, created by Tina. Walter versus Keith Lee, created by Mad Mike. And Cole O'Reilly and Strong versus Shayna Baszler and all her friends, created by me. The one who knows the rules. Wait, does that say Sting at the bottom? Strong. <laughs> Strong, okay. Sting. 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 And uh, so far, um, eight people are in space jail. Randy Orton, Enzo, Lacey Evans, Bailey, Triple H, Ronda Rousey, We LC, and Bobby Fish. Now remember, we'll spin the wheel next week, and there is a chance someone will break out of space jail next BLC. week. Mm. So can we'll can they happens, be right? So. Can we be resent into space jail though? Is that open? Oh, I don't know. Double jeopardy. That's a good, what do is you there think? double jeopardy? No. You know what? We'll have to talk mm. about that. That's a good thing that we could talk about uh, coming up on talking mayhem mania. Uh, and <laughs> not a damn show on the internet referenced. <laughs> What did he say? Yeah, the, your phrase. I, I said the hottest damn show on the internet. The hottest return. damn show on God's green internet. <laughs> Talking <What>? mayhem mania. <laughs> and I will also tell you that you know I've got twenty four. I got twenty four cells in space jail. Sorg. Okay. We gotta fill this thing up. Okay. You know? we gotta keep get the population. Mm -hmm. we'll take a couple population levels about three going weeks. up. Yes. This weekend, Royal Rumble challenge. Send oh. your email to mayhem mania at wrestling mayhem show.com did i get it right mayhem mania at wrestling mayhem show.com send us your pick for each royal rumble match the boys and the girls each correct pick will earn you an eliminator a ticket through the forbidden portal and into space jail for one of your favorite or oh least favorite God. wrestlers um, i have already drafted an email <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Enjoy that. Uh, Bobby FJ Town says you can't be in prison for being in debt. <laughs> <laughs> well, but th 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 it works differently in space jail. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you for a good okay. round. Thank you for a good round one. At that, at that note, before we have uh, computer issues again, uh, uh, tell us what did you guys learn from pro wrestling, indie wrestling uh, this week? Who wants to go first? So we got all you here. Hmm. Anybody? Anybody? And Mr. Matt? I learned Velveteen Dream could be back maybe in a few weeks, maybe a few months. Literally just learned that. See? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Ronnie, what'd you learn? You did wrestling. I did do wrestling. Uh, what I learned this week is, uh, you know, AEW didn't want to uh, go live on the boat. They, listen, listen. It's a, they filmed the show on the boat. It's, it's, a, it's a complex situation. <laughs> I wonder. God I know. I would have been interested to see that. I still want to see this in general, though. It's going to be good. Uh, you know, it's... I'm going to DVR at XD, and mm -hmm. I'm going to watch AEW Live tomorrow night, and then I'm going to message you be like, what a fucking shit show. No. No. <laughs> no. No, Roddy. No. I like your gremlin voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, learned, uh, I learned potentially when I watch uh, NXT on the network the next day, I get stuff that Mike doesn't see. Because uh, we were we were talking about uh, I saw a promo with Chelsea Green and uh, 
the former Robbie E. Uh, I'm still learning his new name. Um, and and that really explained why she wasn't in the Battle Royal. And I don't think Mike saw it. I don't remember if it was on. It was labeled oh, as... You, you know what? Wait, you, Actually, I remember seeing it, though. You remember okay. seeing it. And I watched it live. Okay. Right, so on be, USA, yeah. Okay, maybe. I, must have just I learned that. that might be a thing. Yeah, <laughs> so, I, I might have been... But, it, okay. Or, well, I, Mike watches all the it wrestling, happens. and it all meshes together. <laughs> I watch a lot of wrestling. Yes. I mean, this is generally... Generally, shit, a thing. I would have slipped through the cracks of my brain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so maybe I learned that. So I, I don't know. Uh, Gina, what'd you learn this week? I learned, well, oh, I guess t- sort of wrestling related. Uh, John Moxley does a delightful version of Sweet Caroline. <laughs> yes, oh, he really? does. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that. Oh, like the videos off from this boat are going to be amazing. Mm. So, uh, Gina, what'd you learn? Yes, yeah, I was just doing the pose. Um, oh shit, I had it. Uh, uh. Coming back to you. It'll, it'll Potter, what'd you learn? Okay, I learned the romance that we need in wrestling. Oh, son of a bitch, there it is. Go ahead. Well, no, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, we're on the same it. wavelength. You guys, you know, else. Else. Finish, finish Potter, ahead. finish Potter. You guys can co-ship this, that's fine. Okay. Is an alien, a freshly squeezed alien. What? Okay. Oh, he wow. broke up there, I, I, I but he's either. talking about uh, Chris Statler and uh, o- Orange Cassidy. So Chris I don't think you guys were on the same oh, page. Oh, no, we were not at all. No, listen, yes. there's a lot of love okay. in pro wrestling. There's the Chris Statler. Statlander. Uh, Stat- Statlander, thank you. I knew it was Statlander. I that up. L- l- Learning how to human, learning yes. how to human, and Orge helping her out. That's right. And booping each other in the nose. That's right. That's why you should watch Being the Elite because that's where the real stories are happening in AEW. Uh, and and yeah, Gina, I'm not, I'm not watching. yours is uh, that Otis and Mandy Rose is still a better love story than Twilight. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Truth. Story. Uh, story. But is it a better love story than Lana and Lashley? Yes. 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 Are you oh, kidding yeah. me? Yeah. What? Listen, okay. Brink. You can't even ask. <laughs> Brink? <laughs> oh, Mike got what? it. Mike got it. I oh, I broke him. Wish, I fucking wish I was Brink. Are you kidding? Wait, are we talking about the inline skating movie? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's all I've been able to think about <laughs> since I, I he put that damn that. hat on. I was just watching that. Like, oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Go, okay. go on. Yeah, cut back to him. Mike, say something. Yeah, look at that right there. Mm-hmm. Even with the head, it's actually better with the with the. I wish I was Eric Von Detten. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My fiance would be like at least twenty percent more attracted to me. <laughs> at least twenty percent. That's 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 the lowballing it. <laughs> wow. Wow. We, we watch an episode so weird just because Eric Von Detten was on it. That's not a joke. <laughs> Why are you watching so weird? Because it's on Disney Plus, and she wanted to watch Eric Von Detten. <laughs> what are you doing? She's leaving. Are you, are, you, are, you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is? Oh, the little baby goth in me just got really excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh my and god! That is a different Patreon tier. That's a different <laughs> Patreon tier. There I'm never is. gonna hear the end of that one. But yeah, yeah I, I am here. I was actually uh, in between earlier before I came here. I was watching. Uh, the, I was looking for the best recap video, and it doesn't exist, which means somebody has to make the Otis and Mandy Rose like recap oh. romance. They did do a fun TikTok of it where they slowed down when Mandy fell off the apron, and they had rose petals fall in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Like that, that's on the WWE's Instagram. Page. My other story, favorite story, thing is that Otis has been the first person in a long time to break uh, people on commentary. Which yes. is my favorite goddamn oh, dude. thing. dude. They could not hold it together. They couldn't manage the transition into the next they segment couldn't. at all. At all. Like, they, it, it, you know somebody was in the headphone, like, screaming about it. But yeah, like, yeah. And it's, and it's, like, not anybody. It's Corey and Michael Cole. Yeah. The fucking war correspondent can't <laughs> handle time, through this. The only this. time I remember someone breaking that badly on commentary was when Corey suggested Drake Maverick to should have used a small package. Yes. In the bedroom yes. Scene. Yes. <laughs> like, Fantastic. like Renee even talked about that on his podcast. She's like, I could not keep it together. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I love that episode when they had the commentators on Corey uh, Graves' podcast. Um, Bobby F. Town in the chat room learned that Lana Lashley Rusev live match was a good build for checks notes the Royal Rumble. <laughs> also, they are uh, uh, they are stuck in lamb chop booking. It's the feud that doesn't end. I don't know. Oh, lamb chop. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Some people started singing, knowing what it was. And it forever just because it's in the song. And never ends. It goes on and on. Some writers started booking it, not knowing what it was. Mike, we're done. Mike, we're done. Mike, we're done. I love because you know I wrote a song. Yes, you wrote a song. I'll sing it for you. Yeah. On talking mayhem mania. Coming, Coming up. up next. Coming up next. All right. All right. Oh, I didn't say what I learned. Sir. Oh yeah. I don't know. We're taking it home. We're taking it home after that. You saying? Skipping me. Oh and, man. And You're... thanks to the internet lag, it was an she unintentional got your shit round. In, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Mad Mike, what'd you learn? I don't know. Come back to me. No. What? Uh, nobody wow. left. <laughs> Now you don't want to get your shit in. <laughs> Pull Bobby F.J. Town. <laughs> no, I learned that... Um, what are we doing here? I don't know anymore. I learned that there was an actual barber under the ring shaped <laughs> Daniel Bryan's beard. Yeah, I keep it with... kayfabe, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I, love, I love how mad Ronnie is, is about this. It's just bullshit. <laughs> Blame Brian for saying that. Everything's ruined. <laughs> I blame hate the Brian. Business. Don't blame me. <laughs> the like stupid business. He actually said that that was a thing that happened, and that is still wild to me. Like, I don't believe that happened. <laughs> it That's didn't happen. He's, fuck, he's fucking with because everybody. Because you did not have to do that for it to be realistic. No, he, mm -hmm. he didn't happen. They no, had I, fake hair under the ring. They're like, here, take this. And they're like, okay. No. Yeah. You need to read the interview. The mm. internet's a lie. Reading. <laughs> Shit. Reading, reading, reading's for pussies. <laughs> Ronnie starts for the people, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. There you go. Ronnie reading 2020. <laughs> there I'll be impeached after week one. Yeah. So. <laughs> there it goes. All right, guys. I think I got everybody. 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 Um, let's see. CM Punk just did a clobbering time on backstage. Is the note no I got. Cares about CM Punk. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, seriously, if he ain't coming We're back to the it. Rumble, all care. right, we came back. All right, that's unless fine. he Moving challenges on. Becky Moving Lynch on. to a match at WrestleMania tonight and backstage, I don't give a shit. What? Oh, wow. I gotta um, have anyways, doing? guys, thank you so much. Uh, everybody down the line, Ronnie Starks, Badger, or Regina, and her future Patreon. Uh, mainstream Matt, Tina, Mad Mike. Wow. The one with the cats. The one with the cats. Wow. No, 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 no. I was giving Mad Mike a second to do his thing. <laughs> That's your I excuse. Wasn't doing thing. I was just stretching. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was gonna... Look for me on Disney Plus in the movie Brink. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I'm going to watch it when I get home and I'm going to message you. And about. Dave Potter as well. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I think I got everybody that's in here. Uh, and of course, uh, What's called her Mango Missy? <laughs> 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 mango that's, not, that's somebody else. Here uh, comes Missy. Mango. Merlo that's Missy. A that's a summer version. Merlo Missy uh, <laughs> back there. We'll scrape her up so we can take her home after the show uh, from behind her desk. Uh, thank you, everybody, and everybody in the chat room with us rolling with this insanity. It's only just beginning. Uh, we, like I said, I, we basically booked the next two months of Mayhem show last night. <laughs> so to be part of 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 uh, uh of, of this, hey, uh, let's hear it for long term booking. Yay! 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 Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. Very now, professional. Now we got to do it for indie mayhem. So if you have any suggestions, can someone give me the cliff notes on that? I don't know what. What? What's long term booking? <laughs> 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 we'll give you the short short version. Yes, exactly. Oh, do I get the short short version? Yes. Uh oh. Well. Just uh, uh, I went off air, please. You're dead now. <laughs> You're done. You're done, Mike. You're not Guess who's not post. getting their free code for honeybrazzers.com? <laughs> oh. oh. You can pay with the rest Ooh, of the rough. peasants. I mean, I'll, I'll still pay. It's fine. But 
<laughs> so it's okay. It'll all be on porn up in a week anyways. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.